and thank you for watching. I'm Exo Francesca Fox and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing a lipstick try-on. One of my Christmas presents was the Marc Jacobs Cat's Meow collection. I wear liquid lipstick almost every day, but it's so drying on the lips. I miss the comfort and like the softness of a regular lipstick. So I thought, why not try Marc Jacobs Beauty? I don't love the packaging on this one, but I love these sample sets. I would not necessarily go out and purchase five full-size lipsticks of a brand I haven't tried the lipsticks of before. So this is perfect. I'll just try all of them on, see which ones I like. So there are five choices and I'm going to try all of them on for you. So the first color is called Goddess and it is a very beautiful red shade. It's like a classic red. It kind of reminds me of Ruby Woo from MAC except it's a very satin finish. It seems like it could be very smoothing on the lips. My favorite red liner is Kiss Me Quick by MAC. It's a pro longwear lip liner and their pro longwear lip liners are so bomb. They're like really creamy and beautiful so I think it'd be a very nice match with this shade right here. Oh, this is super pretty. It's very comfortable on the lips. So this is, yeah, a very like satiny kind of feel. Not much gloss, but it's not a super drying matte. So comfortable and it is so, whoa. I feel like it like brightened up my entire face. I just love reds that are like red, you know? This is lovely. Oh, wow. So the red removed like a dream. The next shade is called Current Mood. <laughs> Punny. So it's just a really beautiful, you guessed it, current color. Comparable to MAC Rebel. Although, actually looks a little smoother and not as glossy. So it's really pretty. The lip liner I recommend is another lip liner by MAC. It's not a pro long wear, so it's a little janky, but it's called Current. Okay, so this color was a little tricky to do. I can definitely see my overline. I think that the ticket would be to get a lip liner and fill your lips in all the way. The lip liner I have, I just, I can't stand it. So I'm not going to try to fill it in. Uh, the color itself is really beautiful. And then again, this is very comfortable on the lips. Do not wear this color on a date if you're gonna go out to eat. <laughs> and again, that one came off like a dream. These are really concentrated lipsticks, but they are coming off so the next color is J'adore. It's like a deeper nude. And I'm going to pair this with my favorite lip liner ever. MAC Pro Longwear Lip Liner in Morning Coffee. Love it. This is definitely a shade for tanner skin, I believe. I feel really glam, really nice for like an everyday look, but it still pops. Like your lips definitely will not get lost in your foundation or anything like that. You can see that it's sitting comfortably on the lips. Really nice finish. It's not like, look at me, look at me, but it's like, hey, I like makeup and I do the glam thing. These seriously all come off so well. And the next color is Infamous. It's a much pinker, mauve -er tone. I think I'm really going to like this one, you guys. And again, I'm going to pair it with morning coffee. Ooh, so this is a perfect everyday nudie pink. This reminds me of Sellout by Too Faced, but it is a regular lipstick, so it will not dry out. I love the finish of all these, super comfortable. Oh, you know what? I love this color. I'm so glad that these are coming off so easily. Like, I thought that this video was going to be painful, but they're just coming off like a dream. I can't even believe it. The final color is Sonic Truth. It is a paler nude. So for me, like, nudes like this are too light to flatter me. So again, I'm gonna use morning coffee. So if I wear a nude and it's way too light for me, if I do morning coffee, like, it's all right. So yeah, it's definitely dark for this color. So I think that this saves me from being washed out. So this color is definitely too light for me, but a hack that I have is take your liner, if it's a deeper color, and then just a little bit create an ombre effect. So line on top of the lipstick that you already have on and then fill in the middle of the lips just a little bit. I just think it looks crazy when I look washed out. So morning coffee really saves me. So this I'm not mad at at all. I actually think that this color lipstick would look really nice like in the middle of 
this color. So my final thoughts on the Cat's Meow. These lipsticks are so beautiful. I kind of already knew that I was going to love them because Marc Jacobs Beauty is just amazing. As a whole, every color just had the most beautiful finish. It was so chic looking, you know, because it wasn't high shine and it wasn't super matte. They were all very comfortable on the lips. Like, I could definitely wear this all day long. It's just creamy and beautiful. I love it so much. And then removing it is a dream, which I think is really important. I love liquid lipsticks, but my lips get so chapped. I have to do regular lipstick sometimes and this is just sitting so comfortably and I will have no problem with these. I think that Infamous is going to be my new everyday. Bravo to Marc Jacobs Beauty. These are so beautiful and so universal too. These will look good on everybody. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Thank you to my face halo for getting me through this entire video. Ooh put this to work. <laughs>